Hello everyone, this is Kailin Ann Pedrero, and in this video, I'll be sharing with you the histories of three of the tourist spots that we'll be visiting here in Eastern Visayas. But before we start our adventure, let's take a look first at my barangay before we go anywhere else. This is Barangay 105, San Isidro, Tacloban City. We're here now specifically in the Greendale Residences. So, to start off, as you can see, our barangay is made up of housing units. This was made for the people rehabilitated because of Super Typhoon Yolanda, which happened in 2013. Now, you might think that since the houses here are close to each other and space can be limited, it wouldn't have good views to showcase. But it has its moments, such as this. Roads here are good too, so a lot of people go jogging early in the morning to exercise. We have our Sari Sari stores here and even a barber shop. Okay, pause. This is a little embarrassing, but I myself don't know much about the history of our barangay. So, what do we do? We go to our barangay hall for more info. Okay, so here's a little bit more information about our barangay. It was around 2014 after Typhoon Yolanda that the housing projects like Greendale started. Here in Barangay 105, we can find the Greendale Residences, Guadalupe, and St. Francis Village 1 and 2. As of 2021, it has a population of 12,296. And of course, the most important information, May 15 is San Isidro's Fiesta. Of course, another info is that here in Greendale, we celebrate our fiesta in every last Saturday of October. That's another one on your list of fiestas to take note of. And that's enough for our barangay. So let's now begin with the three tourist spots that I recommend here in Eastern Visayas. First in our list is Mock Arthur Lady Landing Memorial National Park, or just Mock Arthur Park. It is one of the most known tourist spots here in Eastern Visayas. This place commemorates the historic landing of General Douglas MacArthur in Leyte Gulf at the start of the campaign to recapture and liberate the Philippines from Japanese occupation on October 20, 1944. Not only is this place popular for its iconic statues, but it is also because it is a good place for hangouts and picnics. It's also a good place for those since most of the time it's windy there and you can even have leisure walks beside the ocean. You can even see here people practicing their dance performance. Here we have the iconic statues that were designed by sculptor Anastasio Caido and it also marks the spot where Mac Arthur fulfilled his promise of I shall return at Red Beach. <laughs> Next on our list is the Korean Veteran Memorial Park. This place is actually quite close to MacArthur Park. So if you want, like us, you can walk your way there for additional exercise. The land was given to the Koreans for their assistance in helping after Typhoon Yolanda. And they, in turn, as a show of friendship, created the memorial for the Filipinos who helped in the Korean War. This is a tourist spot that shows a little bit of history of the Philippines and its relationship with Korea. It also has good picture-taking spots like this angel wings. <laughs> Last but not the least, in our list is the Villa Consuelo Compact Organic Farm, which is located in Haro Leyte. So, as its name suggests, this one is not a normal swimming pool resort. 
This place practices organic farming system that raises livestock and produce or organic vegetables. It is a Tesla accredited school that offers agriculture related courses for students and farmers. Here, they sell their own produce and even use them on their restaurant to cook dishes for you. You can buy plants and souvenirs here as well. I'm not sure if they own all of it, but as you can see here, that's a very wide farm. Here, not only you can enjoy a dip in the pool, but also surround yourself and relax with nature as you like. And those are some of the tourist spots here in Eastern Visayas. Of course, there are a lot of other well-known and secretly hidden tourist spots that you can explore <laughs> on your own. How about you? Share with us your favorite tourist spots. Well, that's all for today. See you next time. What?